Okay, so I've just come out to a service call and this has an E7 fault, which is outdoor fan motor, potentially. Um, so basically it came up with the fault and the customer said um, that she just turned it off at the wall controller, turned it back on, nothing was working and um, has just left it. But now it's actually got nothing on the controller so I've just opened it up and there doesn't seem to be any power anywhere so I'm just gonna find the switchboard and see if there's any power On. Sorry. Okay, they're on and on. Both on. Okay, so it turns out that someone had to turn the isolator off. So I've just turned the isolator on. And I've confirmed with my multimeter that there is power. So it's really important to make sure you've got power on all three phases. Don't just check one phase when testing for power. But that's just turned on, so... So I'm just going to go turn it on at the controller and um, try to see if one of the fans starts. But basically, when you come across this fault, all you've got to do is disconnect these and check the resistance. Um, and you can get all that information from the Dakin service app. But yeah, basically one of these is faulty, so it's a pretty simple one. Um, now we just got to isolate which one it is that's faulty. Alright, so... Turned the unit on, but no fans started. They both didn't start, but um, the compressor did. So I'm just gonna. I've just went and got my good multimeter. Um, and I'm gonna check the resistance of each fan individually. Um, it's important to have sharp little prongs, or else you won't be able to do it. And your multimeter's got to be able to be on ohms, but you got to be able to change the range because everything's, each one's different. So, one to four. This this fan's absolutely dead.
because they're both um, like not working and they're both not checking out I'm just going to turn the unit on and make sure that the board isn't stuffed the fans are both stuffed but I need to make sure the board isn't as well um, so I had just written everything that I needed to know up there normally I just use the app but you need a multimeter that can do ohms, kilo ohms, and mega ohms. And you need decent prongs that have sharp ends on them. Okay, so, yep, just to confirm, now I've tested both fan motors, they don't check out, all you need to do is check the resistance, um, and you get all that information from the Daikin app, and um, now, because they don't check out, I need to make sure that it's not the actual board that's faulty, so now I'm going to actually, actually check each prong, so it should be in between common you can get all this information from the app, but basically three of the prongs should be 0 to 15 volts DC and one of them should be like 250 to 350 volts DC. So it's nice and easy, you just got to take your time and have all the information available to you when you're on the job. I'll check that now. Fifty to three fifty. Definitely not. Alright, so basically I think the board is the issue. Very rarely do you have both fan motors go at the exact same time. It's very rare. But both of these have just stopped working. And if I had just checked the fans, I would have said, yep, yeah, both fans are not working. Walked away, come back, put some new fans in and it still wouldn't work. There's a reason why they're not working, and it's that board in there. So, the problem is, now we've got to replace the board and the two fans. <laughs> so, it's not hard to diagnose if you have the information. So, I recommend just getting the Dakin app and always have it with you. This particular job, I didn't need to plug in the tool the Dakin tool, which you would plug into that, that, that blue one. Um, just, there's this no need to, it's just a basic fault. So yeah, the, the fans stopped working, so it comes up with a fault, but 
yeah, the, the board's just not pumping out the right voltage. And you definitely need a decent multimeter where you can change the range. And funnily enough, these prongs aren't even the fluke ones. So I have fluke um, prongs um, that like came with it. And these ones are out of like a really cheap set of multimeters, but I find that they got a sharper thing. So I just keep them in my bag just for when I'm checking this. Anyway, the compressor was going. They're not. So yeah, E7 is an outdoor fan motor fault, but in this case, it is the outdoor fan motors, but it's caused by the board. In there. Done. <laughs> Thank you.